video will cover the Cutwork Docker. To open the Cutwork Docker, click on the Cutwork icon in the general toolbar. Click on Auto Hide. The Cutwork Docker is used to create both cutwork and stumpwork designs. Cutwork involves cutting away part of the background fabric and then embroidering the edges, while stumpwork is made from pieces that are cut and then can be sewn to a base fabric. Notice the diagram at the top of the docker. This is a dynamic diagram and will change with each border type selected. Stumpwork is the default border type. The type of border determines which of the components are displayed in the docker. The stumpwork border creates a cutout fabric piece with an embroidered border. Hole 1 creates a hole in the fabric and then a tack down attaches an inserted fabric around the hole. This type of hole can be used to insert sheer fabric behind the cutout area. Hole 2 creates a hole in the fabric, but it doesn't include a tack down and no fabric is attached to the hole. Hole 3 is used when you wish to attach a wash away stabilizer behind a hole and stitch running stitches on the stabilizer. The stabilizer will be removed with warm water and only the stitches will be left. This is the kind of embroidered cutwork that you see in these sections of the wings. Hole 4 is used for raw edge cutwork in that the embroidered edge occurs first and then the hole is cut. And hole five is also used for raw edge cut work, but it includes a stabilizing run prior to embroidery. The last type of border is cut. This is the simplest border type and creates a cutting line around the design for standalone designs.